So Next.js just announced version 2 of their insanely powerful static site generator Nextra. And is it actually any better than its main competitor Docusaurus or any other static site generators for that matter? We'll get to know all of that, but first I'll need some coffee. All right, I'm back. Vamos Argentina for the World Cup win. Um, if you're new here, my name is Shivalik. I am a software engineer based out in Germany. And on this channel, my job is to teach you tech concepts which would make you a better developer. So now let's jump right back into Nextra. So jumping straight to the Nextra website, it promises you can make beautiful websites with Next.js and MDX. Also full power documentation in minutes. So although it's a static site generator, if your use case is to create documentation website, Nextra is probably the closest fit you can find in the market. We'll see a couple of examples just in a bit. It also promises links and images to be super optimized out of the box. We'll see a live example of this in a moment. Also, it has advanced syntax highlighting. Uh, it uses the Shiki.js library, has localization support, dark mode, text search out of the box, alley support, and more. Um, so let's quickly look at a couple of websites which have already integrated Nextra. So if we look at the SVR Versal app website, we'll see um, this kind of a layout. We see we have the search, we have a link to the repo, we have all these pages and the tree. Um, we also have this menu here. If we go to the codesandbox.io page, you look at this and you can immediately say it's a very similar layout. This is also running on Nextra um, and also the last example Edge Runtime. This is also running on Nextra. So for all of these examples, you'll see the theme is pretty similar. And if you're trying to make a documentation website, you don't want something very fancy, but something very usable. And this perfectly fits that bill. So now let's get our hands a little dirty and try to create a Nextra project. If you already have an app which is running on Next.js, you can probably just install Nextra and Nextra theme docs um, NPM package and just get started right with it. So we are starting with a clean slate right here and let's first create an empty folder for our experiment and let's call it Nextra. Next, we are going to install a couple of NPM packages here. Out of all these, if you are already in a project which is running on Next.js, you just need to install these two. So we are done with the installation here. Let's quickly open our project in VS Code. So we have an empty folder with our package.json and the first thing we want to create is a config file. So let's create a new file called next.config.js. So nothing fancy here. This is right off the documentation. We created a config.js file where we defined the theme. If you look at it, this is also the same NPM package we installed earlier. And we also mentioned a path to a theme config. So this is a file which is not present right now and we have to create it. So let's right click and create a new file called themeconfig.jsx. We are going to define some theming right around here. So in place of the logo, let's call a span and let's write grapes.js. So if we go back to the other websites which we saw earlier, you see this logo right here, which is basically the project logo. So for this particular example, I've created a demo project, which is right here. Doesn't have anything yet, but gonna have our code after this tutorial is complete. So we are gonna just paste that here. Here, let's just put, say, discord.gg. Okay, let's just leave it to that. So now our base configuration is ready and let's go ahead and add some pages. Creating pages are extremely easy in Nextra. All you have to do is create a folder called pages. And inside that, just create files and each file would correspond to a page. So let's create index.md and just enter some dummy text. Now at this point, we can just go ahead and try to run our website. So we are going to run yarn next. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, all right. So we have the bare bone of our website already. We have an index page. We have these links, which kind of take you to the website. And we have a footer and already we have a theme. 
all right now let's go back and create some dummy content over here and create a couple of more pages so let me quickly duplicate this rename this to buttons.md let's just delete this content and put buttons here make sure everything is working fine all right let's quickly go to buttons rename this file to mdx and just start writing react And now we have a basic implementation of a counter. We can just call this as counter and add some bold text inside this. And let's save, go back and see. So we have our button here. If I click, it works as expected. Now, if you're wondering that we can play with the button, but we cannot really see it because Nextra supports Tailwind CSS3 right out of the box, we can quickly go here and just add some CSS class. It should be class name and just like that we have some styling right out of the box you can do all kind of crazy stuff whatever tailwind supports now coming to the page tree we can actually configure how these pages are named and also the order of them by passing a configuration to nextra how do we do that is by creating a config in the root calling underscore meta dot json well my bad the meta should go inside pages let's move this and now we can just pass an object here and name our pages so now we can go back and see that the pages have been renamed and the order which you maintain here is the order you see on your website so definitely we want the home page to be the first link let's move this up fix the commas go back refresh and we have it we can also provide nesting in the form of subtrees by creating further folders so let's create a new folder let's call it help and create a file inside it called help.mdx now if you go back to your website and refresh you can see we have a page right here with help and from all these pages you also can make use of the in-page navigation to navigate through all the other pages now the next thing nextra has done really well is image and link optimization on their framework so first let's create a folder in root Let's call it assets. And now I'm going to import some lovely grapes right over here. Let's uncomment this about now. If we go back to home, we already have the image here. Now, although this just looks like a normal image, under the hood, Nextra is actually wrapping all images on our website with the Next.js image component. And that gives us a couple of really good advantages out of the box, like lazy loading, by default source set, and image optimization. Now, Nextra also does something very similar when it comes to links. So whenever it finds a link in your page, it wraps it up with a Next.js link component. And what it does is it optimizes prefetching for all those links by default and also enables smart routing if the link is of an internal page. So we can demonstrate that by copying one of these links. And let's go to our home page, which is index.md. And let me add a link here to buttons and if we go to our app refresh it we already have the links to button here now we have not done any fancy routing but nextjs can figure out this is an internal page and do that sweet single page application transition for you instead of doing a full page refresh another thing which i really liked in nextra 2.0 is the advanced syntax highlighting so we have added our code in triple takes and mentioned the language for which we want highlighting. If we go back to our code, we can already see some really nice highlighting going on here. Now you can just pass an additional property here called copy and that enables this copy button for your code. I can also enable showing line numbers here by writing show line numbers and we have line numbers here now a couple of more cool things we can do with the code snippets is highlight specific words if you want or highlight some numbers so for this example let's just highlight use state and how we do that is start with a hash write the word we want to highlight in the code next to it and end up with a slash and for highlighting numbers we can say highlight number two and number four to five and if i save it go back we can see use state keyboard has been highlighted and we have already highlighted these three lines this comes specifically handy when you are writing documentations duh and if you're not really a fan of the highlighted colors this is also customizable because all these colors which shiki js provides actually are configurable with css variables so to change the colors go back to your application and under pages create a new file and call it under underscore 
app.js here we are going to import some css which are going to be the custom styles which we are going to add and we'll export the default my application now let's go ahead and create the styles.css and what we can do here is create a new file called styles.css and i pasted a couple of css variables from the official documentation website and now if you go here and refresh it you can see some of the colors have changed so there you have it guys the first impression for nextr 2.0 and from my first experience i really liked it and would probably try to use this at my work or maybe for some side projects if i have to talk about pitfalls i feel the documentation is still not complete and if you go around and look at some pages many of them are still under construction so maybe give it a couple of more weeks for the documentation to be ready or even better you can go ahead and contribute yourself on the next repo all the links would be down hey thanks a lot for sticking till the very end of the video i really really appreciate it i would love to know what you think about next or this video in general let me know down in the comments and i try to answer all of them also if you're new here make sure you hit the like and subscribe so that i can grow my channel and youtube also shows this to more people um and i think that's all merry christmas and have a great new year and i'll see you on the next one